Hello YouTubers, welcome to two awesome tutorials and today I'm working on, on making a furniture I've been making a cupboard uh, which is which is gonna be wooden so if you're new to my channel I usually make engineering videos I show how to design, how to render and the new techniques that, that the engineering industry has, has introduced is all uh, discussed and and the tutorials are available into this channel so make sure you are subscribed to awesome uh, for for that kind of uh, videos so uh, without further ado let's get right into our uh, tutorial so I've got my uh, Autodex Fusion 360 open and we're gonna start off with with our first sketch so I'm gonna hit on create sketch and then I'm gonna choose the, the plane to start sketching. So I know that this is gonna be the the, the wall. I'm gonna uh, the, the the piece that's gonna be attached to the wall um, uh, as 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 a wooden as a wooden sort of a rectangle that I'm gonna sketch uh, on the on the flat plane. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the right plane. So the top one here should be the top, and probably start with the top. So yes, I clicked on the wrong sketch. So I'm gonna start with the top. I'm gonna make a rectangle, but I'm gonna make it very thin so I can extrude it all the way down. So here, if you if you click on rectangle, you can uh, you can go to center rectangle. Click on the uh, center point. I'm gonna make it uh, make it a bit a uh, bit longer. So. If I click on this and to this and and uh, add dimension to it, I can make it about about let's say 500, and then the width of it is is the is is the wood. So how thick the wood has to be, I would say the wood can be about uh, about 15, 10 to 15 millimeter. So I'll give it a 10 for now, and uh, by clicking on finish sketch. I'm gonna extrude it. Uh, select extrude and click on your profile. Then, as you can see, I'm gonna take it uh, all the way down, all the way down. So, if if I would like it to be 1,000 millimeter uh, in length, so and you can add negative sign to it for opposite direction. So, I think this is looking good as the back plate of of the cupboard. So I'm gonna click on OK, new body, OK, fine. Actually, I'm gonna go with new component. OK. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna add a uh, border street. So I've got about let's say six of, um, let's say five of different uh, compartment for storage. So I'm gonna st I'm gonna use my mirror capabilities here as well. Uh, however, I'm gonna start sketching for the top one gonna go to the top click on a uh, rectangle start from this end and end it somewhere here add dimension state about 200 yes because uh, I'm gonna make about about five uh, different compartments so I'll go 200 because the whole length of it is about thousand the width is okay as it is same as the as the back plate so oh, the other thing I would like to add here is another rectangle in the middle which is going to be the offset of this rectangle. I'm going to use the offset uh, command which makes it, which make things really easier for us. I'm going to make the the uh, the width of this this wooden piece here about at about 10. And then I'm going to hit okay, finish sketch. And then, as you can see, I've got offset in the middle, and then I can literally use that to extrude this part. I'm gonna click on extrude, bring it all the way out. Uh, I'm gonna bring it up to about not that much, but about about 200 will do. Yeah, so 200 looking perfect for us. I'm gonna hit uh, join and hit OK. So the other thing uh, what I'm gonna do is in order to have five 
compartments like this uh, on the same back plate I'm gonna use the, the, the pattern command I'm gonna click on rectangular pattern so I'm gonna click on to on to the as I've got one body so I can uh, actually I've made but one mistake here so in order to use the pattern command only for this this part of the of the of the component I'm gonna have to make sure that I extrude it uh, I do not join it so here as you can see the timeline I can go back anytime go with that extrusion and then change this to new body which makes things easier for us to actually mirror it or, or pattern it so I'm gonna go back to rectangle rectangle pattern and I'm gonna click on body two. Uh, you know, to select it, I'm gonna click on body, then body two, and then I'm gonna add quantities as five, as we discussed before. Five, and then direction. I'm gonna use this line so direction uh, for my direction. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down to about about 800. Yes, yes. So 800 is my distance now. I'm gonna hit on OK. Now, as you can see, this is done. And in the center, on the top one, we've got double lid over here, which is actually good in order to hold that sort of weight here. And you can use the the combine command to combine all of these different. Uh, different uh, bodies that are shown so how the way you do is use uh, use the combined feature here by selecting all of these and use the join command okay so as you can see all the different profiles that were showing are gone and we can see it as one body one component uh, now I'm gonna move to applying materials to it since we have just one body with one material it makes things very easier for me go to physical material apply uh, apply wood so wood whatever wood you would like to I'm gonna go with cherry wood uh, in this case and hit ok hit close so as you can see the 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 material is also applied in order to uh, render it I'm gonna move to design and then to render and I've showed how to render uh, simple bodies in another video uh, which you will be able to find in the description box uh, below uh, so I'm not gonna render it here however I'm gonna show you how to export this file in different formats maybe you can also use a 3d printer to, to actually uh, 3d print it uh, so as you can see if you click on export you can name it and then type you can choose from different formats you can go with ideas you can go with stat you can go with step files stl files which which is used for for 3d printing uh, so that's it for today if this video helped you make sure you subscribe to two awesome tutorials uh, to two awesome channel for more and uh, I'll be I'll be uploading more of 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 furniture of designing furniture different types of furniture in Autodex so see you in the next video bye bye